So over the weekend, I had the chance to go back to my hometown, a whopping 45 minute drive down I-20 to Aiken, South Carolina for the fall steeplechase. And I was actually going to film this video while I was there at steeplechase, but last minute as I was getting out of the truck after arriving, I just started thinking I would much rather be in the moment. I didn't really want to be lugging around this camera and the other device. And I just wanted to, to not be focusing on trying to get a shot or two. I just wanted to enjoy the time with my wife and some friends that we don't get to hang out with a lot. So I kind of put it off. And it was funny because as I was hanging out with everybody, I was taking mental notes still because it reminded me of a point I wanted to make. And that was that when I was in college and even shortly thereafter, we would all go out and we would make sure that everybody had their phone, they had their keys, all that. But we also made sure that at least one person had a point and shoot camera so that we could document the night. There was nothing really amazing going on. It was just really fun to have a point and shoot camera to take drunken photos, funny photos, whatever it was. But all you need these days is just your phone. You have your communication as well as you have your way of documenting. And I'm guilty as anybody, especially when I'm just here at the house hanging out with my wife and our daughter. I'm guilty as anybody to just grab the phone, take some photos, mostly vertical. I'm really, really disappointed with myself that I'm doing way too much vertical and not enough horizontal, but get photos and video using the phone. And that's where this device that I have found uh, really comes into play. Um, and that is the Shift Cam Pro Grip. And so full disclosure, Shift Cam actually did reach out to me and asked me about um, checking this out. And so they sent me this. I have not purchased this. And I can honestly say after a few days of using it that I'm really impressed with it. And I feel like it is actually three devices in one. And that's why I have no problem saying that I love this device. So what is the Shift Cam Pro Grip? By now, you've probably seen a few uh, videos out there about them. And what it is, is a way to take your phone and turn it into a almost old school camcorder. My family's actual first digital camcorder looked just like this. It was actually a big box and you held it like this and we took it down to Mexico and a few other places. And this really reminds me of that, but I love having the tactile button. And so what this does is via Bluetooth, you're able to control your camera uh, and take photos and video. And don't worry if you're looking at it going, well, it's only horizontal. It's got a built-in uh, built in way of turning to vertical. So you don't have to worry about missing if you're looking to do your shorts and your reels and your TikToks. Um, this will handle all of that in one. So that's the first thing. The second part of this device that I love is it is actually a wireless charging device. So you're able to use this QI, which I don't know if it's supposed to be key or chi or QI. Um, you press that button and you can turn the wireless charging on. The third device that is kind of wrapped into this is this is actually a stand as well. You can put your phone on a stand and it will balance. And again, you can turn it horizontal if you want, or you can keep it vertical and wirelessly charge it as a stand. But then I can use this. And at the same time, now I have a way to take my phone and set up for time lapses. If you watched my how to do a good time lapse video, and I'll link it up here, uh, you know that I mentioned that you should always try and take time lapses from multiple angles. Rather than setting this up on a precarious spot and being like, please don't fall, please don't fall, you can have the pro grip and you can set this down, set it to horizontal, but you don't have to worry about your phone tipping over as easily. And it's just an added layer of protection and it's an added feature really that I think makes this really, really cool. The way that it works is it's spring loaded, so it will fit rather larger uh, phones. I've got my iPhone 11 from work here and it still has room to go for that. I don't know if you can see that there, but it fits very nicely in there. What you do need to do is you need to slide it out a little bit and there are two little buttons on the inside here. There is one at the bottom that's QI and then there's the Bluetooth repair. Um, you press that QI button and it will start charging when you slide it back in. And it's really cool because once you're paired and you press that tactile shutter button, there you go, taking pictures. Uh, one thing that I saw is, and I'm gonna try this now, is if you press and hold, it'll do video. Yep, there it goes. 
So if you, there are two ways to do this for video, obviously. You can press and hold, and you see now it's turned to video, but the problem with this is you have to stay holding the shutter button. Whereas if you just stopped that, and if we go down to video, and we just hit the shutter button, notice we are recording and we don't have to continue holding that shutter button for that. So this makes it a lot easier to then also stop recording there and keep going. And again, you can go into time-lapse and tell it to start going. Um, you can do all the different photo modes. So it's just, it's a lot of fun. And then the other cool thing is that shift cam actually has a series of lenses that will fit uh, using a couple devices. You're able to put a lens on here and you can get super macro. And the macro is really cool from what I've seen. I hope that I get to try that out. Um, you also are able to put on a little bit of a telephoto lens. And again, it just helps you feel that much more uh, professional about what you're doing and maybe even get better family photos and that kind of thing. So what are a few of the other features on this? Like I said, spring it's spring loaded here, but what if you have a smaller phone? They have included two bumpers that you're able to put on either side here. And that helps if you have a skinnier phone. It also has two quarter inch threads one up here on the top near the shutter button and one down here at the bottom. And the interesting thing about the bottom is you can also unscrew to take the uh, to take this hand grip off if you want to, uh, if you feel like it's getting in the way of you using this as a stand. But it also comes with a cold shoe mount for the top up here. And it actually is really cool how well they made this to fit uh, you can kind of hopefully see the curve there. It fits perfectly with the curve up here. So that'll go on nice and snug there. And now you have a cold shoe mount for an external light, a mic, something like that. You can put it on a tripod, obviously, with the other quarter. It charges via USB-C there inside this little hole there. And one of the things that I like is I like to try and find something about new tech that stands out to me that maybe doesn't stand out to most people. And for me, it's the USB-C cord for them. Um, I don't know if you can see, but this USB-C to USB-C cable is actually really high quality. It's, um, it's got a textured feel to it. It feels strong. It looks good. It feels like what I use for my phone, whereas I'm not gonna throw the company under the bus, but there's a company that I have really started to enjoy their equipment from, but the charging cable, the USB-C to USB-C cable they include is really flimsy. It's really short and I don't like it. Whereas this one, I'm not sure how long this is. It's maybe like a three foot cable or something. It really does allow you to then use this as a wireless charging stand or whatever you're trying to do, whether you're filming yourself, whether you're video chatting with friends, it allows you to have a little bit of distance to where you need to put it. So I would say that my underrepresented piece on this is this USB-C to USB-C cable because it does feel like sometimes companies tend to skimp on their cords and I like that shift cam did not take any shortcuts on the cord. So that's my quick and easy look at the shift cam pro grip. Like I said, they reached out to me and sent me this one. I did not purchase this one. Um, they are not sponsoring this video either, uh, but I wanted to do a video because this is something that I feel like is it's really cool. It's got, like I said, three different big uses that just about anybody could use out of it. But I feel like it's something that's just, that I'm going to enjoy having just because it does make using my phone as my primary camera sometimes just a little bit easier to do. And oh yeah, again, it makes it to where I can do things like time lapses. So yeah, so far I really like this and I'm looking forward to finding different ways that I can plug this into my workflow, especially using my phone. And hopefully I will get to try some other uh, pieces from Shift Cam because it looks like that they are making some really quality materials. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed learning a little bit about the Shift Cam Pro Grip, please consider hitting that like button. If you don't already, hit subscribe and I will catch you in another video. Yeah.